fight coming up next. A UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. level, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, Assassin. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Beautiful punch. Straight right is there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Now connects with a right. Get out of there. In the face. Let's go. Nice knee to the body there. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Nice head kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Checks that leg kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get. 
get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Trying to hammer that big leg. Just missing on the high kick there. Huge block there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with the big right hand. That right hand hurt him a little bit. 20 seconds left. Slips that left hand. Five minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Second round underway. Straight punch land. Nice leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Nice punch there by Lee. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Let's go. I want that over. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Take it to the ground. Just a slip there. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Lee. Caught the kick. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Two rounds in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicked. 
That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him know. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Liver kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Visibly limping here. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. We'll see how the Ladies judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buck. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight.